So I thought you might be interested what I've been uh, busy with. Um, the furniture arrived on October the 15th. That's a year and, what, eight, nine months ago. And I still haven't put anything up on the walls until today. I um, don't know whether you can judge very well from these videos. Uh, but you can see what I've done. You can't see how well it fits in with the room because uh, it's difficult to give a panoramic view of the room. What else have I done? Yes, put this up here. And the funny thing is, when you put a picture up, it cries out for something underneath it. And fortunately, I've got some spare tables. Mounted my calendars, mounted the lovely photos of Lady Tanya. Um, bookcase, I was a bit worried about the bookcase because it's going to be heavy and I thought well the picture nails won't support that but it looks like the original screws that my father put in in 1993 they're still there of course and I did have the calendars hanging on them and they fit the uh, little bookcase exactly exactly there is also a screw for the barometer and I wonder was it the original screw and of course now this looks totally different because there aren't things propped up on the floor but there's a bit of hoovering to do when the uh, filter becomes dry um, doesn't look quite right does it lady lady of the lake and that would normally have been higher but the problem is I put these uh, lamps in and um, they sort of block out uh, spaces for putting up pictures. It's a pity, really. So, yeah, that's going up the stairs. I've decided the landing upstairs will be the Islamic Center until I get my rebuilding work done. So I put these up here, this up here, and this up here. And when I'm in Dubai, I want to go to a charger to the Blue Mosque again so we can uh, do some shopping for more of these. As you see, I've only got two of them. don't know where the rest went. I may have some actually not mounted. Uh, and these uh, frames as well I want to buy. They were very cheap and very classy looking in Dubai. Uh, or charger. No, I bought them in charger, that's right. But you can probably get them in Dubai as well in there. In the old parts, uh, yeah. So um, looks rather, uh, should I say, sacred or sanctimonious <laughs> in my bedroom. Um, that's for sort of peaceful, nice. When you wake up in the morning and you see that, and he's giving my, me my blessing for going to sleep, Mister Salvatore Mundi. Yeah, what have I got in here? Um, well, in the two unused bedrooms, um, I put up the pictures that nobody likes. So, Ilya Repin. I mean, if I was Russian, I think I'd be proud of that painter. But uh, anything here? No. Uh, and uh, the death of Thomas Chatterton, which also nobody likes. It is rather gloomy. You wouldn't, probably wouldn't want that over your bed. Um, and then finally, so that's that. It does make a difference. It makes an enormous difference when you've got things on the wall, doesn't it? Um, what have I got here? Well, I brought the pi the mirror upstairs, but um, I think this will need screws. It's very heavy. I don't want to just put it up on the wall. I put up uh, my uh, parents' uh, wedding present. Uh, one of the few things I've got to remember them by. And these two pictures, unfortunately... They're covered in glass and they reflect the light from the windows. Uh, they're also from my childhood. I don't know whether my parents, my mother got them as a present maybe. I don't know what the background of them is, but they're very, very old. They're certainly first half of the 20th century. And that's it. Got these as presents in an antique shop in Whitby. A lovely little shop. I, I could have buy, bought 50 items. They were fabulous. Um, don't know who I'm going to give what. Monica, Julia and Judith. So I've got a um, sort of storage uh, jewellery or pill bowl from around about 1880. A hand carved... Um, sort of Welsh dresser with all little bits and pieces in it. I'll show you that in a different light in a minute. And a picture from, picture of Whitby. 
an old photograph. Isn't it pretty? I don't know whether you caught this. I assume it's all handmade because I don't know, but the drawers actually come out and that flower pot is the only piece that's loose. Everything else seems to be actually glued in place, including the, there are some letters there, there's a Kit Kat, all sorts of English things. There's a Kit Kat, silver spoon, sugar, uh, etc, etc. So here's my weekly shopping. Not very much this time round. Because I'm well stocked, so I've got yogurt, uh, pasta, soup, uh, water, uh, milk, uh, new potatoes. From the butcher I've got wild boar and apple sausages and lamb cutlets. Uh, a type of mushroom that I've never seen before, never tried before. Uh, fish sauces, um, avocado, uh, some... Uh, Flour for making bread, uh, stocking up on eggs, uh, tomatoes, cucumber and uh, cabbage, fruit, uh, ordinary fruit and um, frozen fruit uh, for making into your lovely sweet compote and um, sweetener. I think that's it. Own invention. New potatoes uh, boiled a couple of days ago and now fried in um, ghee and I poured an egg over it and a bit of salad to go with it. And to greet me, deer in the garden, but he's disappeared now of course. Just wanted to show you a video of the lawn before I cut it. I don't know whether it comes out on this picture but it's full of beautiful colours, yellows, a vetch, buttercup, I don't know what, uh, scabies, uh, look at it, there's purple, there's yellow, there's orange, uh, reds, oh it's magnificent, I'm going to have to cut it all I'm afraid, and uh, these poor little bees like this one here, um, they're going to lose their pollinating opportunity, however it is in a full uh, uh, blossom uh, for this uh, sort of uh, weed because they are weeds and uh, so I hope that they will grow back after I've cut them I'll do that for another couple of weeks so um, after I've cut them uh, I'll send you another video uh, and it may be even more magnificent I'm going to try do and do this as well and butterflies it's attracting as well I'm going to try and uh, do it with the other camera can you see what I've done? I've left two squares. Unfortunately, when I cut it this morning, the sun was in a position where you could see it very distinctly. Now you can't see it so distinctly. But I've, this was always intended to be a wild garden. So what I've done is I've left two squares and I'm probably going to try and sow a few uh, flowers in there. But there are flowers and the bees love them. Can you see that bee there pollinating? So I've got these two squares and I'm not going to cut them. I think I have to cut them in September actually. I'll have to look in, um, what's his name, Roy gave me a Christmas present once uh, of um, Wild Garden. Uh, and it's got month by month what you need to do, so I'll see. But um, actually this part of the garden is very lush. I don't know what sort of soil they put down for it. But I've got uh, purples, I've got a few reds. Uh, mainly, well, green leaves, but I think they're sprouts from the apple tree. Can you see? There's lots of apples coming out now. And, uh, yes, so I'm going to leave this. I am going to cut the nettles down. The bloody nettles are getting everywhere. Oh, I've got blues. I've got that, uh, remember that? Speedwell Germander. Yeah, and those little purples, lovely ones. So I'm going to leave these to grow. Um, I think something's happened here. I think they had another bonfire. Those bloody hooligans that uh, rented from me once, and they had one right in the middle of the lawn in the other in the other uh, section. Bastards. Um, daisies. Some buttercups. Some. Uh, I don't know what the other yellow ones are, but lovely, aren't they? So we'll see what comes out of this, and I'll put some soil and some seed on it. So this is the first uh, time I've been out. Well, out walking since I came back. 
and I thought, cracky, it's a long time. I was back on Tuesday, it's now Saturday. I haven't done anything at all, anything physical. I just had a lot of pain and exhaustion. That's probably why the reason I So I thought, time to get out. And maybe if I pass the pub, I'll have a pint. Uh, don't know if that's a good idea, let's see. Um, and of course I looked at the weather just as I came out. Because I'd been thinking about it for some time. And would you believe it? Four o'clock, brilliant sunshine, according to the forecast. Five o'clock, good but not so brilliant. Six o'clock, which will be before I come back, rain. I don't see any rain in the sky at all. It would be amazing if it did come. Let's see. Oh, being chased by a butterfly. I think it's a red admiral, but I'm not sure. Could have been a heath. Um, uh, by the way, I wanted to tell you as well, my uh, lavender is very popular. Very popular with the bees. I'll take some photos uh, next time the sun comes out. And you remember this probably, this is the Midsomer pub. Another weird experience. Can't order at the bar anymore. And not a mask in sight.